Okay, we will be importing points into Civil 3D in this tutorial. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is go find your file. Um, make sure that when you have your file, you're going to take it uh, here if it's saved on the desktop, and we're going to actually copy, and then we're going to paste it under my computer, and we need to put it under your specific um, drive. should be the Z drive or whatever one your name is associated with. So we'll go ahead and paste that there. When we do this, this is where we will reference the file from and allow us to uh, not have the same errors that it's been referencing from the desktop. So we'll go into X Microsoft Excel, open that. I'm going to start in my computer, uh, go down to your folder, and then you're going to have to change the files at the bottom because it doesn't show up. And so if you go down to text files, you see that it still doesn't show up. you got to actually go to all files here. So once that shows up, open that up, and you'll get a screen that shows um, all the files you have to do delimited and then click on comma in order to separate those out. We'll go ahead and hit finish. All our files will show up. If you remember from before, some of those show up as zero. You can see all the way down we have quite a few file number of points in here. So we'll go ahead and get rid of the zeros in there. And down one more I think. Zeros. Your file may or may not have zeros. If it does have them you'll want to get rid of them just to alleviate the pain of ha and hassle when you import them into the Civil 3D. You'll also notice on the right here we do have different points settings and so these were the labels that you gave to them and we'll use those once we get into Civil 3D. Don't delete those, just keep those in there. So we'll go up and uh, save this as any other formats. We'll save it as a text file there, tab delimited name it whatever you want. In our case we'll just put in mapping in here. Go ahead and click save. Say yes. And then when you cancel out you can actually just click no. It doesn't matter. It's already been saved so we'll just click no so you don't have to deal with that. And now we go into Civil 3D. At this point um, we're just going to be looking at the Prospector and Settings tab so you can get rid of this other tab here and leaving us just with the Settings and Prospector tab that we'll so now we'll go into the uh, points up top. If you go into these, either the points or the points group down here, uh, we're not going to be able to do stuff from the prospector tab. So actually, we're going to go up uh, to the side here, to the top, and from there, we're going to import our points. So when you click there on import points, you're going to get the same screen when we did this for the surface last time. Go all the way down to PNEVD. Now you're going to go actually under your file folder so whether that's you start on the desktop and go in here and then go to my computer and then your file folder down here that should be where we saved your mapping project just hit OK and uh, that will import the points into the file now currently you can't see those points they are visible they're just not within the screen so we're going to come over on the uh, <coughs> side here uh, and actually before we zoom on in on those we just want to show you that uh, this raw description here that is importing the parts that are in uh, in the f that you guys placed for labels so those labels are in there we'll use that later but let's go ahead and zoom in so once we're in the screen just type in Z and then ent hit enter and you can hit A and then hit enter and that's going to zoom to all and then you can use the scroll wheel to zoom to show all of your points there and there you have imported your points